I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Dwayne Johnson, Paul Walker, and Vin Diesel feel the need, the need for speed and Fast and Furious 6. These guys really don't care about gas mileage. Ride or die. The customized racing machines in Furious 6 pull off so many ridiculous stunts, I almost expected them to start talking to one another, a la Lightning McQueen and Mater in the Cars movies. And that's really what this franchise is, a live-action cartoon series. And Fast and Furious 6 is the fastest, the funniest, and the most outlandishly entertaining chapter yet. I'm not kidding, I kind of love this insanely stupid movie. Whether we're seeing stunt work or special effects or a combo platter of the two, director Justin Lin keeps raising the bar. Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto and Paul Walker's Brian O'Connor are supposed to be in retirement until Dwayne Johnson's Hobbs shows up with a proposition they can't refuse. You get as close to Letty and we'll get you shot. And you give us full pardons all the way around. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Soon the whole team is reunited with Tyrese Gibson and Chris Ludacris Bridges providing most of the comic relief. Uh, guys, they got a tank. Damn. There's also a new addition, a CIA operative named Riley, played by Gina Carano, and man, can she fight. Luke Evans is just okay playing a supervillain named Owen Shaw. He's the obligatory special ops legend turned ruthless supervillain, blah, blah, blah. But who cares about the plot? It's just an excuse to get the engines racing and the adrenaline pumping. We come to the Fast and the Furious movies for the action, not the acting. But as the opening credits reintroduced us to the franchise, I have to say I realized how much I've come to enjoy the main characters as they careen between death-defying stunts and hokey barbecue scenes where they keep talking about the importance of family. This is a movie that knows exactly what it wants to be and is almost always successful fulfilling that mission. And I gotta tell you, stick around for the teaser for Fast and Furious 7. It's a howler, I loved it. I give Fast and Furious 6 an A minus. That's right, an A minus. What's it to you? I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews on Reels and at richardroper.com.